Hello, it's Lix, and did everyone enjoy that intro? Um, I hope you guys did, because I spent a while editing and putting in all the parts for that. So yeah, um, anyways, welcome back to another video. Today's video will be an Inktober special. Um, in the beginning of this month, I actually planned to do the entire Inktober challenge with all the prompts and drawing something every single day. But I realized after the first day that that was probably impossible for me this year, so yeah. So, in a sad attempt to try to make it up to you guys, I am doing one ink drawing for the month of October. And that's why I'm calling it a special and not just like the Inktober challenge, because it's only one drawing. And I hope that's enough, but uh, I'm so sorry that I need to work on being able to do challenges. And I'm not sure if it's me, but I've always been so bad at doing like monthly challenges or a scenario where you have to draw every single day. I'm just so bad at keeping up with that, and I really hope to change it around next year. Oh, and if you guys haven't noticed, I actually managed to fit the sketching process into the video this time. You'll see me erase a lot and all that awkward anatomy, but I guess it's alright since it's a rare sight on my channel, I guess. And now, slowly but surely, we are nearing the end of the sketching process, and I think it was around here that I needed like a circular item for the background, but I couldn't find anything as big, so I actually had to go to my cupboard and get a bowl, a plastic bowl from Daiso, and trace it around my drawing. So I thought that was pretty funny for you guys to see. So anyways, about what I'm actually drawing, I took some inspiration from this um, Instagram artist by the name of Yun Yunkos, I think? She also has a YouTube channel, but I've actually been following her on DeviantArt for the longest time, and recently, her um, Inktober drawings have just been so pretty. I also really love the way she does her lines. She just makes everything flow together so smoothly and it's just so pleasing to the eye. <laughs> Meanwhile, when I try to do my lines, everything just looks super stiff and looks like a potato, so I have no idea how she does it and I'm just so envious of the way she does her art. So that's basically what I'm drawing right now. It's just a cute sailor girl with pigtails who's also holding her hair in like a cute fashion, I guess. I don't know. But um, around this point, I'm going to start using my Daiso brush pen and you can see that um, I have a paper behind it to absorb the ink because it does bleed over to the next page if you're not careful. And I think it was around this point in the drawing where everything started looking much better together. Um, I think it was because I decided to fill in her hair, which I was going to leave white beforehand, but I guess I messed up way too much on the fine lining portion of the hair process, so yeah. And just a little bit of information about the tools that I'm using. Um, as I mentioned before, the black pen that you see is the Daiso brush pen, which is 150. And I mean, it works well for filling in large areas, but I realized later on that it's not exactly very precise. And that's why you see me filling in like smaller area of the large area with the um, black brush pen first, and then filling in the rest in with the mic microns. And now, because I don't really line my drawings all that often, I can't say that the Microns are the best lining tools out there, but they're definitely the best pens that I've ever used. And now, I am nearing the end of blocking in my colors for the girl, and I'm gonna start erasing here, but um, guys, this is why you should be patient and not rush like me, because I actually did smudge the bottom portion of the drawing, and I tried to improvise and fix that, which is kind of funny, you guys will see. But yeah, um, don't be a, a rushy person like me and try to erase before the ink is dry. And finally, this is the last portion of the video where I'm just filling in the black circle behind her, but I really wish I could have been more creative with how I use that space because um, now looking back on it, it's just kind of a boring black circle. And yeah, that's basically it guys. So I forgot to mention this in my last video, but um, if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever on future video ideas for me, please let me know and leave them in the comments below because I'll be super excited to read them and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know the video isn't at its end quite yet, but today's commentary will be running just a tad bit short. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!